Hello everyone, my name is K. Chanchiretti, working as a professor in Tigre Krishna Engineering College. In this video, I will explain multi-carrier feed implant techniques applied to cascaded HPG multi-level inverter. Okay. Multi-carrier feed implant techniques classified into two types. One is phase shifted feed implant techniques, second one is level shifted feed implant techniques. In level shifted feed implant techniques classified into three types, one is phase opposite disposition feed implant techniques, second one alternate Phase opposition dis uh, <coughs> alternate phase opposite disposition technique. Third one is phase disposition technique. Next, uh, this is these three are level shifted periodic techniques. Next here, phase shifted periodic techniques. Phase shifted periodic techniques. It phase difference between first to second, second to third, third to fourth triangle. One twenty degrees phase shift. Okay, uh, ninety degrees phase shift. In this video, I will explain. Phase shifted feed implement techniques I will apply to cascade electric multi level inverter. I designed already in MATLAB circuit. Now I will explain the circuit diagram, control scheme, and circuit diagram. Okay, this is sine wave. I took one sine wave and four carrier waves. First, I gave here in the sine wave the amplitude is 0 0.085 and the frequency is 2 pi into 50. This is frequency. Next, in first triangular wave, I gave here 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0 0.5, 5 time values and by 500 frequency 500. Here, output values minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1. This output values it varies from minus 1 to 0, 0 to 1, and 1 to 0, and 0 to minus 1. This, this output values I will explain in. Uh, output sim scape. Okay, first, I will take here one Bmux block. I will take one Dmux. Okay, I will connect to this all five triangulars here. I will apply. First, I will connect it sine wave. Second one, I will connect. Second triangular. Third one, I will connect it to third triangular. Third, second triangular. This third one connected to third triangular. Fourth one, I will connect it to here. Fourth triangular. Now, I will connect here scope. Scope. This scope, I will connect it to here. D. Max output. Now, I will run this one. Okay, now I will show carrier wave output waveform. Okay, this is carrier wave output waveform. In this carrier waveform, we have two, four uh, carriers is there one, first one, second, third, and fourth. Each one it phase shift is 90 degrees. Okay, this carrier wave start from 0, 0 to 1. 1 to 0, again 0, uh, 0 to 0 to 1, 1 to 0, again 0 to minus 1, minus 1 to 0. This is one cycle. Next second, also after 90 degrees start, I will explain our four carrier words. I gave here outputs 0, 0. Minus 1, 0 and 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to minus 1. Output values. I gave first repeating sequence. Next, I will open second repeating sequence. Time values I did not change. I gave 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. Yet, output values I changed 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0. Okay. In this first one, start from minus 1. In the second one, start from 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, starting, ending with 0. In this first one, starting, ending with minus 1. Next, in third wave, here, positive 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. Okay, sequence start from 1 to 0, 0 to minus 1, minus 1 to 0, 0 to again 1. This fourth one, start from 0, 0 to minus 1. 
zero, one, zero output values. Okay, this output values showing in triangular value. Example zero to one means here zero, one, one to zero, zero to minus one, minus one to again zero. Next, if I start from one, one to zero, example, I will take the second one to zero, zero to minus one, minus one to zero, zero to one. Like this, I give switching sequence. Now I will apply all in this uh, in this uh, control scheme. I usually four triangles and one sine wave. I usually here total eight switches, IGB switches. Okay, one one upper switch, upper uh, H bit S one and S two, S three, S four, four switches, and in this lower S five, F six, and S seven and S eight. Total here also four switches. I2 voltage 100 volts, V1 and V2 also I2 100 volts. Okay, next. Now I will show, I will run and I will show output waveform. I will run the circuit. I will show output waveform. Okay, I got finally this. Five level output we have. This is level one, 200 volts, level two, 100 volts, level three, zero, level four, minus 100, level five, minus 200. Okay. This is five level output voltage. Now I connect load across the voltmeter. I will go to SimScape. In Sim power system, I will take fundamental box. I will take elements. I will take on RLC branch. I will, I will take an R. I will connect to this register across the load. Okay, now I will run the circuit. I will show output voltage. Okay, if I connect load here, only showing three level voltage. If I remove this load, I got. Five level, okay. Five level voltage, okay. In this circuit, I took this is uh, relation operator. I took four relation operation operators. First sine wave and first two triangular wave greater than or equal, and first sine wave and second triangular wave less than or equal. Next, this third one, sine and triangular wave compared greater than or equal next fourth one i compared less than or equal okay uh, this uh, this relation operator output directly connected to s1 and yes for s2 purpose i use not gate next again s3 s4 like same s3 s4 these two are, are, are operated in complementary manner s1 and s2 operated in complementary manner next s5 and s6 operated in complementary manner and S7 and S6, S8 also operated in complementary manner. Now I will show THD value of this output voltage. We will go to this scope and settings. I will remove this limit access. I will apply here. Okay. I will keep here V and I will apply structure with the time. I will apply this one. Okay. Now again, I will run the circuit. Okay. I will double click this power gate block. In power gate block, I will go to FFT analysis. In FFT analysis. Okay. In FFT analysis, I will take your 50 this frequency. We will start with 10, 0 0.02. Next, next, I will apply here display. We'll take here effect analysis. Okay, thirty seven point three one percentage. I got THD value. Next, I will change here. I will take number of cycles three. Okay. Finally, I got 37.31 percentage. 
starting time with I will apply a 0 0.02. Okay, same output, uh, same THD value I got 37.27 percentage. Okay, this is the level shifted PWM technique output voltage. Follow these simple steps. We will design high level inverter. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.